Hello, in this video I'm going to show you how to make the ties for face masks. I've created some bias tape from scrap fabric, tied it on the ends, and then inserted it into the sides of the masks. I've modified some existing patterns to make these face masks adjustable to better fit nurses' faces. Sometimes ties are even preferred to elastic bands. The supplies you'll need today are Fabric cut two inches wide by however long your fabric ends up being. I've sewn all of mine together to make one long one. I have a pre-linted lint roller, which I will use to roll up my bias tape as I make it. And I have a bias tape tool. This tool will fold to the fabric as I slide it across. I have it starting at two inches and going all the way down to one inch. But these come in various sizes, depending on what size you want your bias tape. And of course, you'll need an iron. Most people familiar with bias tape know that you make it by just folding it in half. You can certainly do that if you don't have a bias tape tool. But for this video, I'm going to demonstrate using the tool. To start off with, I cut the ends in a tip pattern. That way it inserts into the tool easier. Start by inserting into the two inch side where it folds, pushing it through all the way. At the beginning, you may have to adjust where the fabric falls before you iron it because it likes to roll in smaller than an inch. Once everything is centered, go ahead and start ironing. The thing I like about these tools is the end always comes out at one inch. So as good as I am at measuring my fabric, it's really helpful to know that I'm going to end up with an exactly inch wide piece by the time I'm done. Then we're going to fold it in half again. Really make sure that everything is lined up this final time that you're ironing. Because if things aren't quite lined up as it's going through the sewing machine, you're going to find yourself stopping and pausing a lot to readjust everything. Once you have everything double folded and ironed, I roll it on my pre-linted lint roller. I like it linted, that way it doesn't stick too well and ruin my bias tape. Then I just keep going until I'm all done with my roll of two inch fabric, turning it into bias tape. When we've finished with our roll of bias tape, as you can see here, it's all double folded and ready to go. Go ahead and insert that in your sewing machine. I'm using my quarter inch foot. That way it helps me line everything up and I can go really fast sewing this all together. I change my settings and move my needle over. That way it's closer to the edge. Two mils works for me, but adjust your sewing machine to whatever works for you. Make sure that the end of your tape goes past your feed dogs, otherwise it'll get sucked in. But go ahead and give it a few slow test stitches before going full speed just to make sure everything lines up good. You can get your fingers positioned just right to line up your tape as it goes through. So all you really have to do is watch it go through the machine. Taking a closer look at our stitches here. We can see, you know, we have our end that went past the feed dogs and nice stitches close to the edge. Everything looks nice and straight, lined up, and I can keep going with my stitches after this. Here's another angle of me putting the bias tape through the machine to make it into the ties. As you can see, I have my lint roller right in front of my belly. My big fat hand is kind of blocking it right now, but I'm using my thumbs to push it back. That way my feed dogs in my machine aren't working so hard to unroll the bias tape from the lint roller wearing out my motors. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you'd like to see the next video where I show how to make the masks that go with these, hit that subscribe button and thanks for watching.